Hey, welcome back everyone. It is now May 7th of 2020 and ever since the release of Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker, a lot of fans around the world have been very intrigued about the future of the Star Wars franchise by Disney and Lucasfilm and exactly how Bob Iger and Bob Chapek are really going to handle the future of the franchise. This is Mike Zero. Make sure to subscribe if you're new to the channel for future Star Wars content. Now, the thing about Disney Star Wars is that we do know that as of this moment right now, they have over 10 years worth of Star Wars projects in the works. That, of course, is just for Disney Plus alone. We're talking about new live action TV shows and animated TV series that's going to be released in the near future. And that's all completely separate from the new Star Wars trilogy of films and other movies in the works as well. So when we take a look at Lucasfilm's Kathleen Kennedy, this is actually a person that we've been talking about for a very long time now, very incompetent as a person over at Lucasfilm, as the president of all things Star Wars. And that's the one thing when you think about Star Wars, is exactly how Kathleen Kennedy has done her job with all of these different movies that she has actually worked on, with of course J.J. Abrams, Ryan Johnson, and others. Now, the thing about The Last Jedi and The Rise of Skywalker, these were the two big movies that really created a bigger divide between the Star Wars community, and now that we're going into new timelines and a brand new mythology of Star Wars, that's exactly what Bob Iger and Chapek want to do with all these different projects, to really bring the fans together once more. However, there is one project that left a lot of fans up in arms, including myself, is of course the Leslie Headland Star Wars TV series for Disney Plus that will be released in the coming years by Kathleen Kennedy. Now, of course, that both Disney and Lucasfilm are finished with The Rise of Skywalker, they are focused on their new trilogy of films as well as the new Star Wars universe. Now, it's explained that both Bob Iger and Bob Chapek are working together as a team in order to create a better and brighter future for the Star Wars franchise. Now, it's noted that currently they are working on the new Star Wars universe to create new timelines for Star Wars, where both from legends and complete new timelines that fans have never seen before. Now, it's explained that behind the scenes, Leslie Headland and Kathleen Kennedy are both working on the all-female-led Star Wars TV series that is currently in the early development phase over at Lucasfilm. Now, it's noted that Leslie Headland with her new TV series will be ignoring creator George Lucas's work and that she wants to stop his vision of Star Wars from entering into her new TV show. Now, it's explained that Headland's plan is to no longer include inspiration from George Lucas and believes that Star Wars should be built from the ground up and be used as a tool to create something original without having to hang on to the creator as a foundation. This plan by Headland is to ensure that her work will be recognized as her work and not George Lucas's work. This all stems from Kathleen Kennedy's plan to make a series that does not rely on George's vision of Star Wars that she will no longer hold the burden of respecting George Lucas's work onto. Leslie Headland has been in the talks with Ryan Johnson to become a part of the new universe as a director for the series for a handful of episodes, and even actress Brie Larson to become one of the lead roles in the series that they will begin writing this June. Kennedy and Headland want to begin filming sometime in late 2021 or early 2022 for it to be released on Disney Plus in the near future. Thankfully, this is the only project that Headland and Kennedy will be working on, where aside from all of this, the new universe seems to be going in a more positive direction for Star Wars fans to enjoy, with Dave Filoni, John Favreau, and Lucas all working together to provide a brand new mythology to the Star Wars community that stays true to Star Wars. Both Bob Iger and Bob Chapek are said to be very angry over Headland's decision to no longer use George's, George Lucas's vision for Star Wars and will instead be ignoring everything that, she has, that he has actually created. So, the thing about Disney Star Wars right now is that, for the most part, it's going in a more positive direction. We got this one project, this one project of all things that Kathleen Kennedy herself has full creative control over by contract, and she's the one who hired Leslie Headland. Now, I believe that Leslie Headland's, you know story, you know, from years ago, really does not fit Star Wars. She has said before, in the past, that she's not necessarily a fan, per se, of Star Wars. She doesn't really have a favorite Star Wars movie. She is just going in on this, of course, for her own project to be made, and that's what it seems like, right? And the other thing is this. When we look at Kathleen Kennedy, she's basically getting her wish. She's finally allowing a Star Wars TV series to be made, that's going to be full of identity politics, real world issues, and personal agendas to the max, to the point where I believe it's gonna fail terribly, I think it's gonna be a colossal failure, 
To me, all what we really care about is storytelling, and in order to properly do that with Star Wars, I believe that you have to and have to always hang on to George Lucas's version on some level, to some degree, you have to latch on to George's vision of Star Wars. It's why The Mandalorian worked. You know, there's a reason why The Mandalorian was so successful, it's because George actually guided Jon Favreau here and there. That's not to say that Jon Favreau can't work on his own. Jon Favreau is a very talented man, and he actually played a large role as to why The Mandalorian did so well. Main, main part of the reason, of course, as to why it did so well is because Kathleen Kennedy was not really involved. So you can see that, you know, there is proof that Disney has the ability to make proper Star Wars stories. So, like I've said before Pent in the past, guys, you know, drop a comment below. Let me know think about all this in the comments. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time.